Welcome to part 2 of TOR. In this video we are going to look at SSH and VNC. We are going to make it work on Collaboratory and Google Collaboratory. This video is for education purpose only and I am just showing to you because it is just possible like you don't need any port forwarding or anything like that. So let's get started. So uh, this is like a three step process like you know uh, three step th these three things should be run. So first thing is to install Tor basically. So uh, this this exclamation means it should be run in the shell rather than Python. First of all, we can run the uh, apt install Tor. Uh, this this will be already run as root, so there is no sudo. Uh, let's run it. And what it will do is it will basically download the Tor Tor from the repository Google repository. Uh, it will be from the Ubuntu world, most probably it is from Google, yeah, no, right, it is from Ubuntu, right. So after downloading that, it will install it and, and basically terminate, like, it will terminate right now. So it has terminated. Now what we can do is, we can download the configuration from my server. Uh, okay, so th this downloads, this downloads the configuration from my server and this redirects all the output to the null, so basically discarding all the uh, outputs. And now we here uh, we have the Tor RC like you know we are moving the Tor RC to where, where it's supposed to be like it's in the configuration directory of the Tor. So now we have downloaded the file and uh, the only step remaining is to run Tor. But uh, if you want, you I can I can show you the uh, configuration file. So uh, cat slash etc slash uh, slash etc slash Tor slash Tor RC. So uh, Entering that should basically give us the Tor RC. So th this is the Tor RC I am running right now. So there is no Fox port. Just, just like you know, uh, there is nothing, and there is only hidden service and it's like you know, 80 and 22 of four port forward. So let's start the Tor. Uh, this will be like running for infinity. This will be running for infinity. So yeah, like this kernel is done for like it can't be used for anything else so let's go ahead and uh, uh, install SSH server so now step 1 is SSH server install the SSH server then get the configuration from my server then then basically install the configuration to the appropriate directory then after that we have to basically uh, change the password so I'm just changing the password to 1234578 uh, the password of the root basically and now we have restart as such after that we have to check the host name so we have to get the host name of the tour so we are getting the host name right here so this this, this basically this, this is a directory where I am saving the uh, like I am I am running the tour uh, hidden hidden uh, whatever it is you you can actually see here like um, if, if you look at here like I have specified the directory here, so that directory is here. Okay, so let's run it. And while it's running, I can speak. So uh, this is basically uh, showing all the configuration of the tour. So I can again actually run it and show show what is really happening, uh, which I guess I have already shown you. So we 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 got the got the Odin address. We have to know this, like you know, uh, save this in your head, I guess. But if you want to know the SSH config, I can show you the SSH config. So uh, this has to be like you know slash etc slash SSH d slash uh, SSH config I guess. So uh, oh man, what what is it? What is happening? Okay, mv slash etc slash oh okay right right right. There is no SSH d like SSH d config there. You're right. So uh, yeah, the only the only change is I have enabled root permit root login is yes right here. So that is the only change. This is a, this is a uh, you know ordinary file. You can I will already link these files in the in the description for you you to use it basically. Now it it will be it will be in my server also. Yeah right. So that is that. I will have another video which which explains these things. Now we have to bootstrap Apache if you want. This is a bonus tip. If you want a web server, you can you can have this thing. So while it is happening, let's go ahead and uh, 
start start our tour browser so and uh, start tour browser and now this is basically to like keep this keep this channel running because if if it if it sees it is inactive like the the vm is inactive this, this is running in a vm so if if google sees that it is inactive then it will, it will terminate the vm like you know it just terminates it so start tow browser is taking so much time i don't know why but yeah right it has come up and establish is circuit by the way right so for the test we can what we can do is we already got the got the uh, audience address which I have to copy it and paste it here this should basically give us uh, Ubuntu's test page uh, they are running Ubuntu so yeah right so, yeah like we, we got it like it works basically so what we have to do is right now just just open a terminal and type uh, first of all you have to be having the tow running like you know if, if you don't know how to run the tow check my other video so proxy chains proxy chains space sh space this thing so which user we want is root so root at that thing so now what we, it will do is it will, it will basically resolve the dns and after that it will basically allow us to connect so i am going to enter s to basically uh, accept the host key after that the password is 1234567 so going to enter it and at last yeah we are in like this this is basically google um, great uh, so what now if you want gui right if you want gui we can we can install some stuff like you know uh, xo xo and uh, lxd and vnc uh, uh, server so vnc server i am just i forgot what is so so ubuntu like in in arch linux it is it is just vnc server but yeah any any guide will work you know this is how i search for search for guys so here you can see type vnc server so yeah it's so basically installing it right you can see it is downloading at 7 mb per second there's no way i i will get that 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 kind of internet speed uh, kind of i have six six five ish like you know 50 mb here so optical fiber like you know but it's like google right like those are google yeah we like you know 10 mb per second 10 mb per second means 100 mbps like you know this is it uh, 100 mbps means 11 mbps i know like you know yeah i'm blabbing it out right so yeah it has to get installed the crazy thing is it has to get installed like this is, this is the hardest thing like the processor there is only like one cpu or oh, if i know yeah two cpus there there is only two cpus so cpu power is very less but if you think about the ram you have like the RAM. The RAM is around 15 gigs. You get 15 gigs of RAM and uh, uh, a tight internet connection. So if you want to do some stuff like you know small stuff, and you need need internet connection like you know really quick internet connection. For example, you need to like you know uh, download something like very very quick. If you need to have like uh, if you have a very slow internet connection, you want to download something and it, it, it basically expires like the link expires or something like that. Like I'm just just, just describing a user you scenario. Or you need a you need a basically a proxy to hide your IP. You can use it like you know you, you can you can just set up a VPN server with a tow. But already like you know using tow is pretty good like but if you want to use then you can use tor like you know tor or vpn like kind of thing like with tor you can go to a vpn i have a vpn server then you can port forward the uh, that port the open vpn port with uh, with the tor rc then then you can basically like you know the basically the sky is limit like you can do whatever you want that is the thing like 
this is like the tour is like a you we all come in a single place like there's a single router and we all come in a single place and we we do anything like we have every, every local access everyone is in a single network so you basically decide the rules what to share what not to share if you want to share your internet if you want to relay your network like you know for example you, you can you can be a router like you know you, you can really be a router so if you want to be a router you can you can be and uh, there are configurations to become a relay uh, like you can be an entry relay and exit relay exit relay basically means uh, you can the, the people can exit out of your network like out of the tower network the, basically that uh, it, it, you, you your 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 network your your internet will be used for for a proxy basically so what happens is if someone does some something something which is questionable then then you will be blamed for it and i'm pretty sure like you know there are so many so many cases in other countries like not not in india but other countries where people lost their hardware because of this so anyway it is like 90 percent so yeah i guess i don't cut these videos because like you know you, you can see everything working in uh, real real time if you want to skip it like just skip it like you know you can you can skip it skip the portion i will just talk about these things like you know additional information anyone interested can like you know hear this if they want okay uh, so we have we have installed these things but now we want to install uh, vnc server because we want vnc right apt install uh, like vnc server so that is that and you should you should basically install it um, yeah so now i exit out of the thing and uh, as i have not port forwarded i will search tunnel right now so th this is this is another topic like this is another topic you can you can actually port forward any any port uh, via this method so yeah just just do that local host is to 5900 so this means uh, port forward the 5900 to my port like from the from the uh, from the server like the server means this this uh, google server to my 5900 so okay so what happened was uh, i forgot the port like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be 5900 like it shouldn't be 5900 it should be 5901 like i i just just made a mistake there so let's do it once again like you know it just this takes to 10 or 20 seconds to do, do that okay we are, we are in now the changes we we have the forwarding so what we can do is we'll see server VNC server and it will ask me for a password so I'm just going to uh, enter the same password again like this this is the password for VNC so you can you can enter whatever you like no viewly password okay so le so let's let's like you know uh, open open uh, VNC viewer so the uh, real VNC viewer like I, I, I use real VNC viewer because I like it okay right great okay great uh, vnc viewer i guess yeah vnc viewer okay i like real vnc viewer because it is so slick like you know kind of thing where yeah like oh man yeah i just closed it local host to finite zero one connect to it so this, this is basically because i have port forwarded that thing to this like you know, via via ssh now i have binded it if you want i will i will put Put a video about SSH also. Okay, right, right. We are in Google Server. So, you don't believe me? This is Google Server. Here you go. Let me let me install Firefox. Oh, great. Cash lock is on. APT install. Firefox. Okay, Firefox is already installed. Okay, let's go to internet. I don't know why the other icon is not working, so I'm just going to click here, I guess. Okay, we have Firefox. 
fetus it will be pretty slow because you know tour if, if you are lucky you, you will get better speeds uh, I have been lucky two or three times but okay so we are we are speed testing from Google <laughs> as you can see uh, Oh man, oh boy, uh, that's hard, that's hard, anyway, you do remind, Okay, so there you have it, like Google server, here, like Google server, perfectly working, and you get access to it, free, free of course. This is for educational purpose only, and if you replicate it, I don't know, like, what they will do. I don't know, it, it is according to the terms and conditions, we are not using for any legal purpose, but, yeah, anyway, right. So, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and like you know subscribe because I'll be posting more videos like this and if you, if you have any change like you know first like you know go make make the videos smaller talk slowly or anything like that just just put it in the comments and I'll be reading the comments of this video like I'm really interested in it. yeah talk to you next time